Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Okay, good news first. You've got 24 hours to live. That's the good news? What's the bad news? I was supposed to tell you yesterday. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by... The WTIU Children's Programming Endowment, ensuring quality children's programming for future generations of Hoosiers. Learn more at indianapublicmedia.org slash kidsfund. Smithville Fiber, the GigaCity Company, a philanthropic community partner since 1922, and proud supporter of numerous community organizations. More information at smithville.com. WFYI Indianapolis and these Indiana Public Television stations. And by WTIU members. Thank you. Welcome to the Friday Zone, everyone. I'm Courtney. And I'm Matt. We've got a really smart episode for today, Court. Yeah, our friend Stacy from the Wonder Lab Museum is going to be here to show off some electrifying science. And magnetism, too. How attractive. <sighs> Let's start off our smart show with a geometry song. It's the Bazillions on the Friday Zone playlist. <laughs> <laughs>
Stacy. Hi, Zach. Hi, Amy. Hello, hey. Felix. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. So today, Felix, I have an important question. Okay. Do you like riding bikes? <gasps> I love riding bikes. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so Felix, do you wear a helmet when you ride bikes? Of course I wear my helmet. It protects my brain. Good job, that's right, because wearing your helmet not only protects your brain, but the brain is the most important Ooh. part of your body. Yeah. It controls everything. It decides if food tastes good, <gasps> like your favorite ice cream. Yeah. And it helps you do your homework. Oh. And it also tells your body to move so that you can actually ride your bike. Without a brain, you couldn't ride a bike. Get out of town, Tracy! That's true. <gasps> Wow. So you have to protect it by wearing the helmet. Okay. So the helmet has a really soft inside, so it feels good on your head. Uh -huh. But the outside is hard, so it protects it if you hit anything. Oh, wow. So you put it on like this, and you have to secure it with a strap. Yeah, you look good with that Thank on, you. Zach. Look at you. Yes. So Felix, we want to show you what it's like to wear a helmet. Okay? okay, Amy. So I have an egg without a helmet, uh -huh. and then I have an egg with a helmet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. So let's check this out. Okay. You're putting that in the jar? Yeah, we're gonna put it in a jar. Kind of like if you were to fall off your bike. What oh, would no. happen? Okay. 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 Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh! Okay. What See happened? the one oh, without no. broke? That Let's little see. egg broke. It broke. And then if I can get the helmet off, here we are. See? Look at that. I'm completely fine. Yeah, because it was wearing a helmet. So wearing a helmet is really, really important when you ride a bike. Yeah. Wow. Yay. Thank you guys. Wearing your helmet is no yoke. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. We've got an electricity field trip next, Matt. Sock it to me. Sock it, <laughs> right. I guess I shouldn't be shocked that you make such a bad pun. Oh, that hurts. Uh, why such <laughs> resistance? <laughs> why are you doing this to me? These puns are revolting. Uh, I've got an amp all supply. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just keep the show current. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this Friday's own field trip. Here, Ken and Daniel. Okay, what do you know about energy? Um, there are multiple, there are many different types of it. Many different types of energy, you're right. Okay, well, let's go see what they've got to say about energy. Let's go check it out. Okay, guys, I'm here with some friends of mine, and Shiloh, what can you tell us about these hand generators? Okay, well, all these are, are they are converting your uh, mechanical energy, which is generated by you turning this wheel. <coughs> and the mechanical energy in here turns this and creates electrical energy. So okay. if you spin it, if you spin it fast enough, yeah, that sounds difficult. <laughs> you can light up the light bulb. Oh, there we go. Neat. That's cool. And we have a smaller one right here. Do you guys want to try it? You guys want to try it? Check it out, guys. You just turn it. Oh, cool. And this one's like almost like alternating or something, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yep, what's happening is all the electrons in this plate are jumping up and creating a light and then jumping over to the other plate and as they get oh. reabsorbed they flash again. Cool. So it's like light up hopscotch. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Do awesome. you wanna try it? You wanna try it? Yeah. Check it out, man. That's pretty neat. So you just crank it and the wow, the faster you crank the more light comes out, huh? Yep. Cool. All right, so what's the story about this guy? What's this guy do? All right, this one's pretty much the same. Um, you turn this, and it through these um, pieces right here, it rubs and creates a kind of, you know, a static electricity, like when you rub a balloon on your hair. Uh -huh. And this electricity travels through the metal pieces to these, and you can control this one, okay? Just kind of put it in close to this, but not quite touching. Ah. Do you need a hand? All right. Cool. And you can see this is more fun with the light off. Wow. But 
you can see the electricity jumping from one electrode to the other. Oh. So what happens when you put them closer or further apart? Um, closer, it becomes easier for the electrons to just move through, so you get less of a spark. And when you move too far apart, the electrons just tend to disperse through the air instead of jumping straight across. Okay. Um, but when you've got them um, kind of close but not quite touching, then you can see them all jump across in that stream. Yeah. That's awesome. Wow. It's so bright, too. Mm -hmm. Is this related in any way to that guy? Okay, so this uh, button right here just turns it on. And when it turns on, it creates... Um, here, where they're closer together, it's easiest for the electrons to jump across. Okay. So it'll create um, a spark here. But then it'll also heat up the air around it. And hot air rises, so it'll push it up. <laughs> and then at the top, it becomes too far apart for it to hold the current, so it okay. disperses and starts over. So it's a lot of energy between the two, and then it can't do it anymore, and it fades away. Mm-hmm. Ha! That's super neat. This one's called a Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder. All right. Oh, man. Well, we learned a lot about mechanical energy and electrical energy, but I think we're going to go play with some more spark stuff. Let's go make some more energy stuff happen, guys. <laughs> Guys, we're here at Creation Nation with the staff member Destiny. Hello. Um, and she's going to tell us a little bit about it. Destiny, what is Creation Nation? Well, over here at Creation Nation, we are building the United States. What you'll do is you'll come over here and get a green base, and you'll build on top of the green base, and we'll put it anywhere on the map you like. So kids can just come and take a green Lego base and then build whatever they want yep. and then put it on the map. Yes, that's right. All right, well, I think I'm going to go give it a try. Thanks so much, Destiny. All right, we're outside of Creation Nation with some builders who are going to add to the map. Let's check in with them and see what they're doing. What about you? What's your name? Ryan. Ryan. Nice to meet you, Ryan. What are you making? I'm a bridge. Um, that's what I'm building right now. And that's a wall. That's a robot. And that's just something. Oh, wow. So you got a bridge, a wall. That's a rock, and that can be a pink flower. So you're building like a whole landscape here. You got a lot of things. That's great. Well, thanks so much, guys. I'll let you keep building. And I think I'm going to go check in and build something of my own. for hours upon it. Hours. Hours. To create this Friday Zone little Lego building. It's beautiful. Maddie was the master builder in charge of color and uh, coordination. master builder. So now I think our next step is we go turn it in and then they give us a prize and they put, and it, on we the put it on the map. So let's go do it. Okay, now she has our FZ building and it's going to go in Indiana where we film the Friday Zone. On the count of three, I want you all to build your favorite superhero. Oh, Can you guys do that for me? One, two, three. Right. Oh, black black I'm going to be black and yellow, and you're going to build it. I'm just going to be interviewing. We're at the challenge zone right now with Caden and Hunter from Columbus, Indiana. And we're currently building a Batman. We only have less than a minute left to build Batman. How's it coming? Is it good? I like it. Legs? Legs? Oh, we're doing all right. We're currently building Batman out of all the pieces we have. So our strategy is we're just finding all the black and yellow pieces we can find. Because, and gray, because we know that's what makes up Batman. You've made it this far. You've got 15 seconds. You can do it. 15 seconds. You think we can do it? We can do it. You can do it. Yes. 10. We can do it. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Hands up. Hands up. It just looks like a box to me. Is this Batman? Woo! Woo! 
you know, at least guys, at least we got the colors correct. That's all I can say. We're at the brick pile, and if you follow me, we're going to go check it out. I think basically what it is is just a pile of Lego bricks, and people are building all sorts of things. And if you look over there, hey, Luke, hey, Luke, want to raise your hand? What are you building? What are you building? Hold it up. I think it's a necklace, but he says it's a helmet, so we'll see. Sydney's over there too. Oh, wow. It's going to be a helmet, he says. I don't know if there's going to be enough time to build a helmet, if we're thinking practically, but it's pretty awesome. People are just digging themselves in some Legos, building some things, stepping on some things. All right. I think I'm going to go check it out. Wish me luck. I'm a little nervous. Here we go. Welcome back. We're here with Stacy from Wonder Lab. We're gonna do some cool science experiments. But this, for this experiment, we're gonna need the lights to come down a little bit. Very cool, very cool. All right, so today we're talking about electricity and magnetism. Whoa. And our first experiment is gonna be about electricity. And what's your name? Surya. Surya, all right, Surya. What you're gonna to do today is conduct electricity using your body. That sounds really awesome, just wow. like a superhero. Yeah. So, Surya has a light bulb, and, and that's in one hand, and then his other hand he's gonna use, and he's gonna touch right in the center of this. Now there is electricity going through here. You can see it looks kinda like lightning. Oh. It's actually gonna pass through the glass, through his hand, through his body, his arm, and down into that light bulb. Do you and think hopefully, mm, hopefully Wait, I uh. hope not. <laughs> He's a superhero, so he should yes, have he superpowers to protect him. And we're going to see if you can light up that light bulb. So, all right, why don't you go ahead and try it out? <gasps> Whoa. Awesome. Did y'all see that? And he can simply move his hand on and off that disc and turn the light bulb on and off. How are you doing that? Describe what you're feeling. It feels, not, it feels cool because uh -huh. I've never done this before. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, and you can kind of feel that electricity, static electricity that's traveling through his body. All right, awesome. I can take that light bulb from you. Thank you very much. And you can step down. That is so cool. All right, our other experiments that we have here, we're going to go through real quick, and they have to do with magnetism. Electricity and magnetism are really related to each other, so one can be used to create the other. The first thing we're going to do is use magnetism to create acceleration, Ooh. all right? So why don't you bring up somebody else? All right, I saw your hand first. I'm what? Your name is Zeke. Your name is Zeke. Your name is Zeke. Right. Nice to meet you, Zeke. So, Zeke, Zeke. come on over here. Are you familiar with supervillains? Um, uh, Have you heard of a supervillain before? Um, Do you know any? Uh, uh, well, there's this no. great supervillain named Magneto, and he has the power to control magnetic fields. So what we're going to have Zeke do is we're going to give him that supervillain power, and he is going to accelerate a ball down this track on this really cool thing that even sounds like a supervillain weapon. It's called a Gauss rifle. Or, if we want to sound really scientific, we can call it a linear magnetic accelerator, which sounds kind of sounds villainous, yeah. too. So, Zeke, why don't you come around here? We're going to have you start over at this end. And all you're going to do is give this ball a little push with your finger. And when you do that, I want everybody else to watch the rest of the balls on this track. All right, you ready? I'm going to set this down right here. There you go. Give it a little push. <gasps> Whoa! Where'd that go? There you go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, so this, because we have metal balls here, they're steel, they're attracted to our magnets. And when it get, gets attracted, it speeds up, knocks the next ball off, that one speeds up as it's attracted to our next magnet, and so on all the way down the line. So it accelerates as it goes down. So these are all magnets right here. These are all magnets. Oh, now, wow. Zeke, we're gonna still need your villainous help up here. And what we're gonna do you are going to use your powers to actually slow down this magnet and make it fight gravity. All right, you ready? You're warmed up. Okay, so 
we're going to try with three different types of tubes. Now, if you know anything about magnets, you know that magnets and metal will interact with one another. Mm -hmm. All right? And so what we're going to try and do is see what kind of interaction we can get on here. So let's see. Why don't you take that one? All right. Okay. Or wait, no. Here, you take that one. Okay. I'm going to take this one. Too. Okay. You take that one. And first, we're going to drop our magnet. So I have this magnet right here. We're going to drop it through. Go ahead. Put your hand underneath so okay. it doesn't hit the floor. All right. And let's see. Here it goes. All right. Did it fall fast or slow through there? Kind of slow. Kind of, yeah. kind of slow. Yeah. Normally, you would think it would go a lot faster. So we're going to try. This is aluminum. This is brass. All right. So brass tube. All right. Got stuck in there. So <laughs> even slower. Okay. Now, Zeke, you got all that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Hold your tube out so everybody can see. You got this. Zeke, Zeke. is going to is going to do this even slower. All right. So you ready? Fight the gravity with your magnetism. Where'd it go? go? <laughs> Seems like there it, it is. A, it took an eternity. Oh my gosh. I know, I thought, awesome. I, know where it was. That was like, <laughs> I know. You did such a good job on that. Excellent. Way to show off your superpowers. High five. Good job, Zeke. Great job. Awesome. Huh? That was so cool. So, yeah. So, this creates something called a magnetic eddy, and it's an interaction of electricity and magnetism as it falls through. It creates magnetic fields that oppose one another. And if you know anything about magnets, then you know that when you put two of the similar poles together, they repel. So the poles were trying to push one away from the other up the tube, but gravity was pulling down. So we use magnetism to slow down gravity. Wow. wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Huh. Well, that was really cool, Stacy. We have a lot more cool things coming up soon, so stick around. Today, we're making quinoa and black beans. Quinoa is a rice-like dish that tastes great and is easy to make. We'll add a kick by adding some black beans. To make quinoa and black beans, we'll put a little bit of oil into our pan, add our chopped onions and garlic, We'll go ahead and add our quinoa along with our vegetable broth. For flavor, we'll add just a pinch of cumin and cayenne powder, a little bit of cilantro, the black beans, and salt and pepper. Kids, remember to check with mom and dad before placing your pot on top of the stove. We'll mix it together and then we'll let it simmer for 20 whole minutes. Be sure to check your quinoa and beans every now and then. When they're done, marvel in your creation. Once they're ready, you can pour them into a bowl and enjoy. Yeah! And now, the continuing adventures of Martin and the Alien Mice. Oh, no! Previously on Martin and the Alien Mice, all of the elephants were captured by the creepy, evil, green alien mice. Except for one. That's me, Martin! And Martin has called upon his old friend, super secret spy cat agent 00 Whiskers, for help. Yeah! So we now travel back in time to learn something about the past. A flashback is a scene that takes place in a time previous to the current storyline. Super secret spy cat agent 00 Whiskers was once just a little alley cat kitten in the Bronx. Ah! But he fell into a UPS box as he tried to catch a little red laser pointer dot an ugly kid had been shining from his window. The box was then shipped to the plains where the kitten grew up to become a legend. Wow, great flashback. Ah, thank you. Get to know super secret spy cat agent Double O Whiskers next time with Martin and the alien mice. That's me.
Roger. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, what please. do you have for us today? You call me Roger. All right, Roger. And oh, <laughs> this is good. Today we have a paper clip. A paper clip. We all use them. I know you do. Now let's all take a closer look. Okay. Sure, the paper clip is sharp, but looking up close, it's actually flat on the end. A pin, however, is, is sharpened to a point. It is, however, rounded at the end if we zoom in really far. So even sharper than a pin is a hornet stinger. Even zooming in a hundred, then, then a thousand times, it's still got a point. Yowch! Yowch! <laughs> Yowch! Everyone! Yowch. All right, well, it's amazing what you can discover <laughs> when you think small. <laughs> Have you seen those new paper clips that they pulled over here? Hi, it's me, Bub. I'm not very good with the money because I'm a cat. We're about to wrap things up, but before we go, I think Stacy has one more science experiment for us. What do you got, Stacy? Yep. Well, I have a copper tube similar to the one that we used earlier. It has a wider diameter on it, which means we can actually watch the magnet interact oh. with the magnetic field as it goes through the hey. tube. <laughs> Let me give you a look at what's going on inside. Whoa, it's it looks like it's, it looks like it's floating. Oh Did you guys gosh. see that? Yeah. That's cool. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Stacy. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Uh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Stacy. Well, we're about to wrap things up. Remember to live, live learn, learn, and play the, the Friday Zone, Zone way. way. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by. The WTIU Children's Programming Endowment, ensuring quality children's programming for future generations of Hoosiers. Learn more at indianapublicmedia.org slash kidsfund. Smithville Fiber, the GigaCity company. Fiber internet, HD, and digital IPTV in southern Indiana. More information at smithville.com. WFYI Indianapolis and these Indiana Public Television stations. And by WTIU members. Thank you. The Friday Zone is online all the time. FridayZone.org is where you'll find information about the show, how to get in touch with us with questions or ideas, and read our behind the scenes blog. It's also where you can watch this episode, past episodes, and segments, too. There's even web-exclusive content you won't see on the air. So check us out at FridayZone.org.